Hello people, and welcome back. This is episode 3 of Scrap Mechanic Survival. Right. I made a few uh, progressions since the last time I was on screen. I farmed up loads of resources. I can't remember if I built this last time, but I built this robot to craft stuff. Started building a bit of a vehicle so I can get around a bit quicker. Uh, it doesn't work very well, so I need to. I th I'm thinking I'm going to make it a 6v6. Because if we give it too much engine power, it just ends up doing flips. It's funny, but, you know, I want to get about quite quick. So I'm going to look at doing that first of all, to start things off. Trying to work out how I'm gonna do this. Might just have to use blocks. Go over one block. Let's have a quick look. We saw myself out of materials. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. Right, I've got a few blocks together. Oh, there's something else I'm going to have to do. I need some scrap blocks because I used them all to create the better blocks. Uh, mistakes I need some to make a bearing so what I'm gonna to have to do is steal some stuff off this vehicle so let's see what I can do here one bearing pretty sure that's all I need because I've already got one in here Get rid of that. I don't know if that's going to stay together. I haven't got a welder yet. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm, I've got 14 left. I hope that's going to be enough. Okay. Oh man. I'm going to put that back just for now to stand on. I'm going to have to make some plants and stuff because I just keep dying, I've got no food, all I've been doing is dying and respawning. 
Okay, I'll be right back in a minute after I've died and respawned. And I'm back again. Alright, let's carry on with this and I'll uh, put some plants down so we can actually make some food. And then one out like that, and the same on that side, because when I first made this I found that I had the wheels at the same level as this, so the car was like super jacked up like a monster truck, and it was just like incredibly unstable, it's falling over something really bad. Uh, I lowered it like this and it was still pretty bad, and I realised it was because I had the engine too powerful. Which is why I'm putting on the uh, this you know the next set of wheels, so it'll be a six v six. Hopefully that'll stop it from flipping over. So what we need now suspension. I have one. What does it take to make them? I wonder. Is it one off road suspension. Oh. Was upgraded, but honestly, I can't remember how I upgraded them. Oh yeah, I have got some of them. Mm. I'm not killing a ton of robots, hopefully that's enough. I actually downloaded a mod, well I say I downloaded a mod, it's a mod you have to change some settings in the game file and it's so that you can craft some different bits like circuit boards and what have you. They're like a weird. Uh, the cost to make them is quite strange. So okay. Oh, I got circuit boards. It's a component thing I need. Yeah, so I can make like the uh, these things. But honestly, to gather the materials to make them, it's probably just as quick to just kill the robots. There we are. Just pull one down then. Yeah. Same for this one. Then it's going to be. It's funny how they don't look like they're attached. Hmm. They all like that. Strange. I didn't notice that. Maybe it's just because it's jacked up. Maybe I'm supposed to weld them on. Not so anyway. 
Ik wil nog een hele grote lopen deze is. Nou, dan maak ik dit ding weer op. Oh. When did I take it off this? I didn't even realize. Okay. Yeah, I did that wrong. Oh, oh. There we go. Then bearings and wheels. These are the beefed up four before wheels I actually found. Look, actually, to find so many. I think the stuff respawns to be honest because it was like not in the same session, and I came back to the same place, and there was more, so yeah, I ended up getting six. See if they're actually falling up apart. Yeah, they're alright. Now, how did I make this? So it's four wheel drive already, so let's make it six wheel drive. Change that. I had to upgrade the engine and this get a better seat so that I could actually have more more things coming off the seat. Otherwise I could only power two wheels. Now what I'm thinking. Let's test it. How do I pick that up? It turns okay. But I'm thinking if I get the Oh hang on, I know what I right, so it is it was four wheel steering. Right. So what I need to do, I'm thinking make the middle one so they don't steer and just the front and the back ones so they do. Okay, so what I need to do, take that off there, that, 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 I have to lift that up so I can see what I'm doing, then take that bearing, then go, bada boom, bada boom. And bit of boom. Take that, take that, take that. Then <laughs> put the be quite I could might put one of them as a spare wheel, it could look interesting. One of them, one of them. And well, hey, then put that on there. Put on there, then take that off, that off, that off, that off. Put bearing under there. One of them, one of them. Need another bearing. One of them, one of them, one of them. Bearing. Wheel. 
And I don't know why I didn't just put the wheel strip on there. Right. Then this is a complicated bit. So that's right. And that's for that. And then I need to go from there to there and there to there. And it needs to be the opposite way to the front. So if I look, so that's backwards, backwards. So this wants to be forwards, forwards. Yep. I think that's right. Let's have a look at this. Let's see if I actually did it right first time. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, they still knock, but hmm. I'm going let's try it, see how it can't remember how to change a view, unfortunately. Woohoo! This is actually not too bad. Uh oh. Let's get away from there. I'm just going to kill him quick. Get on the circuit board. Here's your dungeon. Let's try this. Whoa, what was that? Ugh. Yep, still. Oh, great, I'm dying again. What the? Don't really know what's going on there. Maybe because I'm dying. <sighs> Man. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went out and I got a load of corn and then I used that to feed the cows and turn a bit of milk. I also found some food along the way. Uh, I planted a couple of crop pot type things. Let's see if this corn's regrown. Okay, we're back again. And quite a few setbacks. I had to uh, huh. had to find a food source. I planted some crop pots. Got a few. I tested tomatoes and a few other things, but carrots seem to be the best so far. Finally got this working. I took it for test drive, ran out of fuel. I'd spent ten minutes trying to get more fuel, but now we're here. So. I figured we'd go for an explore, see if we can find some places to get some scrap. Oh, there's one thing I need to do. Where is it? I guess that'll do. With extra storage. Mm. Right, I figure we'll just go along the road. 
and see where it leads for now. I don't know if it's just the game or the way I got the suspension, but I've tried many things and I just can't seem to make this vehicle stable at all. But the best thing I can do really is turn this down a bit. Probably try that. Oh yeah, I made it front wheel drive because it was playing up and it's actually better front and rear but to save time I'll crack on. Right, what's that? Actually six wheel drive at the moment. I suppose what I should really do is put a bed on this while I'm adventuring. Just in case I die, I can spawn out. Ah, so this is where we started out. This is near the crash site. I can see the smoke over there. I found a glitch as well, which is not very good. If I accidentally press E and dismount whilst I'm travelling forwards, then every time I remount, it automatically tries to drive uncontrollably. So then I have to reboot the game to stop it. Right. So we'll follow the road the other way, see where it leads. All I need is a source of metal, so I don't have to keep fighting the robots. And then the only thing I'll need to fight them for is the component kits, which are a bit awkward to get. Must be some structure somewhere on this island I can dismantle. I might put some saw blades or something on the front and then maybe when I hit the robots it'll just cut them up. Could be an easier way of hunting robots without risking my life. Hmm. I wonder if that's a source of chemicals. So I know this is a chemical bucket. What's this place? Interesting looking area. Like some sort of machine. Is that the loading base? Something on a roof. I could maybe try and build something to go up and see what's on top of there at some point. I wonder if I put
Hmm. So I can place him down and then I can't pick him back up. I'm not sure how this works yet. I might have to research it. Not really sure. Oh, hang on. What's this? Packing station. Uh, so I put my fruit and stuff in a... Right. That's something to look at in the future. I don't really know what you gain out of doing that. If anybody knows, write it in the comments for me. I'll take a look and go from there. Let's continue. I might make a boat at some point or a raft. There seems to be quite a lot of water on this map. Yeah, that could be a fun little ramp. Like a little uh, race car or something. Uh -huh. What's this? <laughs> so heart toilet paper. Yeah. Oh nice and light, I'll take that. Anything else of any use? Another light. I'm gonna take them. Come on Andy. If stuff respawns after, I should check that out. I might just take some of it, not all of it, and see if it grows back after a while. It's handy if it does free resource. That's why I want to make for metal. I don't think there is any metal in this structure. So I could take probably this entire building for wood. Let's see what this is over here. Same sort of deal, just the opposite side of the road. Not sure I'm really need any more seeds. What are they? Tomato seeds. Take them. Yeah. If that regrows, I'll keep coming back and taking all the wood from that. But I'm going to carry on. I'll just chuck some of this stuff in here. I got this oil. And where is it? These clams. I went underwater when I was looking for somewhere to plant the uh, vegetable plots, and uh, there was like oil vein things. 
like the ones on Ark, and you go up and you just collect the oil, and they came from like these giant clams. Uh, some sort of pearls. I don't know what they're going to be used for. I don't know what these are. Three of them, I've no idea what they are. Toilet paper, I don't know if that's necessary. All the stuff in there, I'm not, it's not very important. Like this. Keep that because that's food. Seeds can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Don't need a bearings. Go down there. Yeah, that can go up there. Right, I think that would. Can I not take them all? Oh, hang on, I see what's going on. You know, there's certain things about this game which is quite frustrating. The fact you can't split stacks other than one. Oh, I haven't found a way. If you know better, please let me know. That corn grows absolutely everywhere. It's handy, you just feed it to the cows, you put it on the ground, and then they give you milk. Doesn't really give you much food, but gives you a bit of water. It doesn't take much effort to get it. Whoa. Uh oh, you might die here. please don't die. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Be right back, folks. Okay folks, I'm back. That took a while to get back here. I had to use that little old car, original car I had, which ran out of gas halfway. I had to run and pick up all my inventory. Now what I need to do before I uh, go too far, sort this out. Regen some health before I get attacked again. Let's see if that gives me any HPs. Okay. Gonna have to see if I can. Uh, anyway, while I'm here, let's see what it is. The light, I like that. More seeds. Just down here. Certainly plenty of seeds. What's that? Could have been carrots, could have been something else. Yeah, carrots seems to be. Oh no, is there another robot? I ain't got much health. Don't really want to risk it. Just peeling, 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 I'm just peeling. There is an upstairs, let's have a quick look. Hmm. I guess really, if you look at these sort of buildings, I could probably build myself a little apartment. I'll take that. Uh -huh. 
So is it? Let's go to them. There is a spud gun. I'm going to have to invest in making one of them if I can. Don't know where I'm going to get the blueprint, but hopefully I'll be able to find one. Right, access to these. These things seem to be duplicating themselves, and honestly, I don't know what the heck they are. This is daytime. Oops. Keep going. Oh, I know what them things are, it's just occurred to me, the only thing I've been picking up must be those lights. Wait a minute. It's not where I've already been. Ah, that one's fruit. This is a long old trek. Didn't realise the map was quite so big. Oh 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 man! Don't flip. Whew. Just had an idea for a car, which could be quite fun to make. But like one of them remote control ones, where it doesn't matter which side up it is, it can still drive. So if I add it, so it had like twelve wheels. But some only three or only six were the touching the road at the same time. And the others are like above, so if you flip over you can just carry on going. Have to probably have the ones the opposite side going the opposite way to the bottom ones, but that's an interesting looking face, isn't it? Look at the size of that. A little structure down there. I'm just gonna check it out first, see what it is. One of them little seed shops probably. There is a robot here. You know, one of the little ones, I can take that. See, it didn't even touch me. These are all made out of wood, which is super annoying. Oh, beetroot seeds. I had some of them at the beginning of the game. I can't remember if they gave me more than carrots. I've certainly got soil for days. Oh, it's potatoes.
Basement just looks like your standard ruin. So I'm not even going to bother with that. Must be some buildings made out of metal rather than just wood somewhere. I know there must be. I think I came from that way. I'll follow the road along. It doesn't look like the road comes back to here, so I'll have to go off roading. It is off road suspension and tyres, so probably drive better off roading on it. Oh my god, what is that thing? Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh no. This could be all over. I have no spare wheels or anything with me. That's obviously some sort of boss. Oh man, come on. Uh oh. Well, he's broke something on my vehicle because. Why did I stop? What's broken? Oh no. I wonder if I can kill him by just going into him. something decent if I kill that dude. Is this not actually damaging them? even kill the little ones, I'm not going to be able to kill the big ones. So I've got a plan of action. I'm going to the next episode. I think I'll call it here. I'll go back to base. On the next episode, we're going to put some sort of cutting discs around the thing and see if we can make it a robot killing device and go slay some of these and see if we can take on that giant boss robot. We never unfortunately found any of them little metal structures you can take apart for scrap. Must be some somewhere. Watched a couple of other people's videos and they found something. I'm not even sure if this is the right way back now. I'm 
what I'll also do is I'll put a compartment on the back of this and put a bed in it and it can be a proper like turn it into a tank basically a robot killing tank with a spawn point it's all going to be made out of this strong metal see I took some punishment then and the only thing that broke was its headlight I hope this is the right way. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's my other little car, that's why I ran out of fuel. It's not even worth dismantling that honestly. I'll just leave it there. I suppose I could take its bearings, but it's got basic engine, basic seat. Right then folks, that'll be it for this one, if anyone actually cares to comment, if you uh, if you like, I can either make this tank on camera for all you guys to see, or I can make it off cam and we can just go on an adventure, comment below what you'd rather. Okay, see you next time.